Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create task sequence media. Just say if you have a remote site that does not have good network connections or um, there is no network connections and you want to be able to image a machines using configuration manager in this case you can create which is called an offline test sequence or offline test sequence media so now let's get started so what you need to do is go into the software library and go into application management I'm sorry go to operating systems and then test sequence right click on test sequence and go to create test sequence media the the first one is the one that you want to choose which is called standalone media and click uh, click next you can put it on a removable USB if you have a USB connected to your computer in this case I'm going to use CD and the media side it's going to be unlimited the locations I'm going to put it on a network share you can put it on local drive or you can put it on a network share I'm going to put it on a network share Let's call this um, TS Media Offline. Let's call it Test Media again. it's going to name this file as an ISO file so click Save the staging folder it's going to be on my C drive and the media label configuration manager you can call it whatever you want include auto run you don't have to do this I'm going to click next so again you want to make sure it's unlimited because the size of your media could be larger than 8.5 click next you can create a password for it but if you don't want to you can just uncheck it selected range standalone media to be valid for you can configure the date to be valid for just say if you're going to update your um, task sequence or windows image every uh, quarterly you can configure this to expire um, so I'm, go I'm not going to select this one click next you're going to choose the test sequence that you want I'm going to choose 1903 click next Here's all the packages that included with the test sequence. I'm going to click next. If you want to add additional applications, you can add by clicking on add here. I can add Office 365 or Snagit. I'm going to add Snagit. Now let's add Office 365. click next so those the previous one was the application and package you can create you can add um, any package you want here I'm not going to add any package I'm going to click next select driver package you're going to have to choose the drivers that you're going to support in the offline boot image so if you have three different models you're going to have to choose all three of them otherwise you might have um, driver issues with the image click next distribution point 
you're going to choose the distribution point where it's going to pull the contents from. I have one, so I'm going to select this one. Click Next. You can customize the command line. I'm going to click Next. And the summary page, confirm, make sure everything you got is there. Click Next. The process will take a few minutes, maybe 10, 15 minutes, depends on the size of your test sequence. For now, I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back. All right, I'm at 45% completed. All right, look like it's finished. I'm going to close it out. Let's go to my test device. Let me copy this. As you can see, the size is 6.7 gigs. I'm going to copy this and put it on I'm going to put it here. So that way my VM can, I can browse to it from my VM machines. Let's delete the old one here. Let's go back to my test machine. Let me shut it down. Settings. I'm going to browse to the media. Image files. Choose the ISO file. Click apply. So make sure the boot media, I mean the uh, um, the boot sequence, it's going to choose, it's going to be CD or DVD. Click OK. We're going to power this up. Click on Start. Let's boot from the media. Gonna click next. So it's gonna deploy Windows 10 1903 test sequence. Yep, so that's it folks. That's how you deploy Windows 10. Oh, I'm sorry, that's how you deploy offline Windows Media um, using your test sequence, your existing test sequence. So this installation uh, will take about 30 minutes. And um, so if you have any questions, feel free to put in the comment sections. And this is all I have for now. And um, if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And my channel will cover everything from OSD to Intune, Configuration Manager, Applications, and everything else. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Oh, one more thing, I forgot to explain this one here. Um, the So it's going through the process, like I said earlier, um, it's going to install the driver after, after um, it's applying the image. So you're going to have to include all the drivers that you're going to support in your area, in your the offline network, off-site uh, or remote site locations. If you don't include all the drivers for your computer models, 
you will have an issue. Your computer might not able to connect to the network. There's all kinds. So that's a precaution. Thank you and have a good day.